Neither snow on the streets nor vocal critics on the sidewalks could keep gun enthusiasts from crowding into an arms fair this past weekend. This is Stephen Farrell in Saratoga Springs. The Liberals want you to think that the Second Amendment has something to do with uh, sporting guns. But actually, the meaning for the Second Amendment was in case we get a tyranny taken over our government, we have the means to remove them. Outside, pro and anti-gun protesters took up positions within yards of each other. It was mainly the rehashing of old familiar arguments, with some new ones. The police kept them apart, so it was, if not quite civil, at least not civil war. We are not here to take away your hunting rifle or your antique muzzle loader. No, it is not. We are here to work towards solutions that will end gun violence, our nation's number one public health problem. Inside the hall was crowded. Gun dealers said people wanted to buy quickly to get in ahead of any possible changes in the law. The protesters had tried to get this and other gun shows cancelled in the post-Newtown political climate. But while the show did go on, the organisers made one big concession to the local city council by not selling the type of gun used in the school massacre. I do have four or five of those back at my own shop in Mechanicville. And um, I was going to put out pictures and so forth and say, here, come on down to my store. But I tell you, it's been so busy that uh, it, it, it didn't really matter. And incidentally, on the AR-15, it's a great gun. It really is. If you wanted to take a, a nice, easy, recoil target gun out to the range and have some fun, maybe shoot some zombie targets, it's a great gun to do that with. What then do you think when you hear Governor Cuomo say things like it doesn't take 10 bullets to kill a deer and calling people who support such weapons extremists? I mean, what's your reaction? I don't think there's any sensible way that you can ban or legislate guns uh, out of existence. There's too many of them for one. And uh, incidentally, the Bushmaster is made here in New York State. So buy a New York State product, uh, make it here. But uh, are they going to say you, you can't buy a New York State product in New York? That's kind of silly too. Dealers said the political climate had driven up the turnout, with their fellow gun owners keen to show solidarity. And there was little talk of compromise. If they try to do things by executive order, which is the only way they'll probably get a lot of these things through, then there's going to be a backlash. Um, I don't think people are, people are being quiet now, but if they start uh, superseding the Constitution with an executive order without going through the other houses, I think that's gone too far and there's going to be at the very least, there's going to be a lot of Republicans voted in as a, re as a result of it.